Walleye are off the hook at one of the state's most popular destination for anglers. In just the last few minutes, a walleye fishing ban went into effect on Lake Mille Lacs. That means the catch and release season is on hold for the next three weeks. As WCCO's John Lortzen reports, the DNR hopes that gives the walleye a break while their dwindling population recovers. For walleye, you know, sometimes it's, it's a bonanza out there. For 12 years, Chris Wiglinski has been driving from Minneapolis to Mille Lacs just to fish. But Thursday night was his last chance to reel in a walleye for a while. The population seems pretty healthy, but if DNR says it's, you know, the mortality of, of catch and release is going to hurt them, then maybe that's a good idea. The DNR says their top priority is to conserve walleye in Mille Lacs, which is why they say they're enacting this now, there, when the yeah. fish are vulnerable to stress from warm weather. During the ban, the DNR doesn't even want anglers to target walleye for catch and release. That means no live bait except for sucker minnows longer than eight inches. A spokesman says that last year more than 50% of hooking mortality happened in July. That's when a fish dies after being released back into the water. But it's a phrase that's far from a catch with many locals. I think it's so much hooey. Pretty much all baloney. Homeowner David Martin says the ban impacts all kinds of fishing. You can't even have a crappie minnow if you want to catch a crappie. So yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so much you know, to do about craziness as far as I'm concerned. And Mern Mosher, who works on the lake, says walleye fishing this summer has been as good as he can remember. I don't know how you can go out there and catch all kinds of them if there's that scarce. It just doesn't make sense. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Anglers can fish for bass and other fish during this three-week break, but only with artificial bait and lures. Already this summer, anglers have caught about half the walleye allowed by the DNR.